If you've taken the time to watch this video, you probably already know what Amazon Dash is. Or at least, the Dash button. See, I didn't even realize there were two types of Amazon Dash. One is the Dash button, and the other is the Amazon Fresh Dash. Which is like a wand that you can scan groceries with and talk into to order more groceries. Which seems kind of like what your phone already does, so I won't even get into that. Now, I was not invited to take place in take part in the first of the Dash releases, or the preview release, so I got this as just a regular Joe Schmo Prime member. But from what I've seen online, this is an updated newer version than the one that was given out as a preview or a beta or whatever you want to call it. So I figured I'd uh, show this one to you. It's very similar. In fact, it looks almost exactly the same. It comes in this uh, frustration-free packaging, which only has this one little tab that you pull and inside is the dash button. Now, the dash button is slightly larger than I expected. It has a black plastic piece around it so that you can hang it like from a hook if you have hooks everywhere. If you don't have hooks everywhere, it has adhesive on the back, which is covered by this blue stuff. And uh, you can stick it to whatever you want, which I don't know that I do because I guess it's kind of, it seems like it would be removable. Let me stick it here and see if it pulls off the top of my table. Okay, I guess it kind of comes off like a post-it note or something. So there it is in all its glory. It's got an entirety of three features. It has a microphone here, which incidentally is not for you to talk into. A little LED right here, and of course the dash button itself. And otherwise, the packaging has an instruction manual and not much else. And the instructions are pretty simple. You download the Amazon shopping app, which you probably already have if you're a Prime member. You set up your dash button and uh, you press it when you want to order crap. I mean, they made it really simple to use, obviously. You press the button once and whatever this is associated with gets ordered to your house or place of business or wherever you want it to. Um, not really revolutionary and people made fun of it a lot. I mean, I asked some of my friends about this device, if they wanted to get one, what they thought of it, and everyone universally thought it was pretty stupid. And so did I at first. Because, I mean, how lazy do you have to be, I thought, to need a button next to each one of your household items in order to order it? Like, I mean, can't you just go on Amazon's app on your phone or on your computer and just order it from them directly. Then I thought about it and I realized that usually when you're running low on something, you're in the middle of something. Like this is for toilet paper. So when I realize I'm running low on toilet paper, I'm not exactly in the position to like take out a shopping list and write down buy toilet paper and then put it somewhere where I'll remember to look at it. So, you know, if I could order more toilet paper just by pressing a tiny little button that's attached to uh, my sink or inside my cabinet, then that's actually not so bad. Apparently these were 99 cents, I think, when they were doing the preview or they were free. Now they're five bucks. And five bucks is a lot for a button that does just one thing. But it's not a lot for a Wi-Fi connected device. So it's kind of a contradiction there. So it's not as stupid as it first seemed. But there are a few problems with it. First of all, each button orders one thing, and not just one brand of thing. This is branded Cottonelle, but you can only associate this to one particular item in the Amazon app. So every time you press this, you get whatever, a 36 pack of toilet paper. You can't choose that, oh, I need uh, Cottonelle wipes as well, or baby wipes or something else. For each one of those things, you need another button. And then of course, I also have one here for Bounty. So if I want paper towels, I gotta have another paper towel button. And so you end up needing buttons all over the place if you fully embrace this idea of having the Amazon Dash button. The other major problem that I see with it is that if you're frugal, and I'm not even terribly frugal, but I also don't want to spend whatever arbitrary price Amazon sets for paper towels or toilet paper or anything else you can order with the button. See, like I said, you associate a specific item with a dash button when you set it up. 
and Amazon just sends it to you for whatever price it costs on Amazon at the time. And as I'm sure you know, prices fluctuate on Amazon quite frequently. So you have no idea what you'll be spending when you press this button. I mean, Amazon's price is usually good, so it probably won't be a complete ripoff, but you could probably go to the supermarket with a coupon and get it even cheaper. The other thing I don't like about it is that when I was a little kid, I would press every button I could find. I mean, I love electronics and I love little devices like this. Not that they had stuff like this when I was a kid, but believe me, if I were five years old, I'd run all over my parents' house, my aunt and uncle's house, pressing these buttons. Yeah, of course, you get an alert to your app every time something's ordered, so you can cancel it, but it still seems like a lot of mischief could be caused. I would uh, place them high up near the ceiling, keep them out of the reach of kids. Also, I don't like the idea that this order stuff for you. I would like this a lot more if when you press the button it simply added the item to a shopping list. I would also like it more if you could assign the button to any arbitrary item, not just a few items from a particular brand. Now I just unboxed this Cottonelle one, but this Bounty one I already set up with my account and there were like four or five choices for different paper towel styles. It was like one roll, four rolls, six rolls or twelve rolls, something like that. Not a lot of choices. Now, Bounty doesn't have that many products. It's paper towels or it's paper towels. But like I said, Cottonelle, you got a lot more things you can order with it. So it's not very flexible in the first place. I would prefer more flexibility that if I get tired of having this set to toilet paper, I could set this to ordering toothpaste rather than having to buy a whole separate button and attach it to my toothbrush. Another thing I'd like is for this to integrate with Echo. Now, I have an Amazon Echo, granted not everyone does. It would be nice if when I press this button, not only did I get a confirmation by Amazon app, but if Alexa confirmed that I made an order, verbally. Because when you're using one of these buttons, when you're grabbing some extra paper towel to go clean up a mess, you don't necessarily have your smartphone on you. And while it does glow green when an order is acknowledged, it would just be nice to know that the order went through correctly. Another solution that I'd like to see would be multi-button units. I mean, even if it costs a little more, but maybe like a slightly larger version of this with four buttons. So that you could have one by, let's say, your washer and dryer to order laundry detergent, dryer sheets, fabric softener, and bleach, just for example. And these things do have batteries in them that eventually will die. And uh, then you have to go and replace all the sorts of buttons. I'd rather have one bigger unit with a replaceable battery. Now, not much else to say about this. Um, I have two of them. I paid $10 for these. I probably won't use them because, let's face it, this is five bucks. I'll probably save five bucks by ordering my toilet paper from, not ordering, going to the supermarket and buying my toilet paper with coupons for a smaller amount of money than whatever price Amazon would charge me. One thing I would like to do then is ruin this. There are a couple of teardowns of the dash button online but like I said, I think this is an updated version of it, so it would just be interesting to see if the electronics inside are any different, or if they're using a different sort of battery. I um, just want to talk about a couple of differences between this and the original version that I've only seen online. This has a, an oval of adhesive rather than a complete uh, flat piece of adhesive. Also, the other ones I saw online came with uh, some kind of cellophane or plastic wrapping this inside the box. I guess they got rid of that because they realized it's kind of unimportant. I mean, how much protection do these things need? Um, also, I saw other people setting it up and to sync their phone or their Amazon account with the button, they use this microphone. Like I said, you can't talk into this microphone. Apparently, it's that your phone can emanate some sort of coded audio message and sync up with the dash. I think it just probably transmits your house's Wi-Fi password to the dash. When I did it, this acted as a Wi-Fi direct access point, and my phone coupled with it over Wi-Fi and then set it up. That might be a difference between the Android and, and uh, iOS apps. I'm not sure because I have Android and the demos I saw were iOS. So let's open this thing up. And while I try to get this off, ah. I'm going to ask if anyone knows if these companies are sponsoring these dash buttons. 
like I said, for a tiny piece of Wi-Fi connected uh, technology, $5 is pretty cheap. So I have to imagine that the cost is subsidized by uh, Kleenex in this case, or whoever makes Bounty, or maybe they're in the wrong company. But regardless, okay, so I peel the label off. There's three M5 Torx screws, and they come out pretty easily. On another teardown online, I saw that's not the end of it. This probably won't just come apart. Apparently, it's probably friction welded on or glued on to the top. So, bear with me while I jam this screwdriver into it. Ugh. Yeah, it's on there pretty good. Ah! Not the most scientific way of doing this, but I don't really care if I ruin it. Aha! It has revealed its secrets. So it has an Energizer Ultimate Lithium battery, which is actually a fairly expensive battery as batteries go. It's a AAA, absolutely standard AAA battery. Looks like it is soldered or welded to the ends here. Yeah, that's not coming apart. Um, with a little more force, I'm sure it would. Uh, the back of the case has a little spacer to keep the circuit board in place. And uh, that's about it. And the circuit board just peels away from that. And on the front cover, all we have is the back of the button, which comes out. And uh, yeah. That's just some plastic. This is actually a rubberized membrane on the back. Don't know if that interests anyone, but there it is. And this is a nice looking board. I'm no IC expert, so I don't know what everything here does, but I'll show some high resolution images of it so that you can figure it out for yourself. And it says revision 01 on the board. So even though this seems to be a second version as far as the packaging goes it's probably the same board that everyone else got in the original preview version that went out like i said you'll see a high resolution image probably right about now you're probably looking at it as i speak so in summary i don't know buy one don't buy one i guess spend the five bucks or whatever you use most often Put this near that thing and see if you ever use it. If it's useful for you, if you end up using it, if you like Amazon's prices, then get more buttons. Put them all over your house. What the hell do I care? But seriously, it's like I said, my main problem with this is being locked into one brand and one particular product. Thanks for watching my brief uh, rant and teardown of the Amazon Dash button. Enjoy the rest of your day.